Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby Delta episode. This episode, we'll be heading... Oh my gosh, I forgot. Where are we going? Oh, the Sky Pillar. Oh, we have to go say hi to Wallace, so he can let us into the Sky Pillar. That's where it's going. That's where we're going. That's where it's heading, the world of Pokemon. Let's head there and get the Eon Flute out, so we can fly. You know, someone did raise a good point. I think I raised this point a while back. He really doesn't need a Mega Evolve to fly around, but I guess it's just for the effect. That's okay, though. Let's head to Sutopolis so we can say hi to our friend. Next, once we're done with the Delta episode, we will be getting on the Legendary Hunting. It's gonna be so much fun, and that's just to, you know, prepare you to be excited. But I really can't wait to see how this, um episode turns out the delta episode that is so let's head towards the sunlight or water you know whichever happens to be the case let's let's find this out i think a wall oh no he's supposed to be in the cave of origins never mind i mean maybe he's here yeah he's probably not here let's let's i mean all his girls are downstairs so that's probably still kind of interesting that he does that but you know it's okay i believe in the I believe in the ability to cook one's food at a good temperature and you don't want to overcook it otherwise and you just get into this whole little mess with your wife and your kids or your, I don't know, attributes, whichever happens, your husband, it doesn't really matter at that point, you know, just whatever goes, goes and it happens to, oh, man, I am never center. What a glorious turn of events. It, is it really? Oh, ho, ho, is it really? To think that this tree, I never knew we had received it from the huge man who visited from the Kalos region. Oh, it's that guy. Wow, he's been going around for a while. That's pretty good. Saying hi to all his fellow friends and people he's kind of endangered 3,000 years ago. Goodness me, oh, master. This is, has been a learning experience. I thank you for this. Oh, you're too kind, master Wallace. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, no, you're too modest. <laughs> now then. Welcome again to Sutopolis, our new champion, Jeff. Steven has told me everything. Do you wish to go to the Sky Pillar? Is it true the cave that leads to the Sky Pillar can only be opened by the hand of someone descended from the ancient people of Sutopolis? As indeed I am. Am I? Or by one of the Draconids who, also, who have also lived in Hoenn since ancient times. You know, I guess I shouldn't record so early. I'm having a better time speaking now. Huh, that's, that seems like to be the case. The Sky Pillar is in fact an altar built for the ascension of Rayquaza, that legendary Pokemon long said to be the protector of the Hoenn region. Only the ancient Draconid people know how to summon Rayquaza to the Sky Pillar. Steven has told me of this woman, Xena. Xenia. Xenia. Courtney, don't forget Courtney. Well, I mean, I just don't want to forget about Courtney. That would be really mean. She must be trying to revi revive Rayquaza for some purpose. I shall go first to the Sky Pillar. When your preparations are complete, come join me. The Sky Pillar towers over everything upon one of Route 131's small islands. Okay. Well, let's go down there. We're gonna have to fly. Actually, no, we actually we are gonna have to fly. I thought we wouldn't have to, but to get out of here, we'd have to dive. That's okay. It's always a great time to listen to this music, watch this cutscene. It's gonna happen a lot, frankly. You know, I, I'm pressing start, L, R, A, B, C. Oh wait, there's no C. Darn it. No, it's a control stick. I was, no, get away from me. I don't want to get into a battle. That's not how this is happening at any point in time. All right, where is some water that we can settle ourselves? Route 128, good enough for me. That's where we're gonna head. So I guess even if you have surf, they just let you fly onto an island. He actually puts you right near the sign that says it's Route 128 or something. Did I get, I keep getting all of the route numbers wrong. It's just, there's an extra one before everything and it doesn't really, I just, it's confusing, you know, there's a lot of confusion happening here. Let's go ahead and max repel things just to be careful. Be on the safe side to be exact. Let's surf towards the sunset. No, no, no. It's actually not the set. The set has not been sunning, nor has the sun been setting, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll do well together. We've all taken out our puzzle books and see that D33 is in fact bingo. 
So whoever had D33, please report to the front of the stage. We have your prize waiting for you. It is in fact a salami maker. You put salami in it and it makes it into more salami. It's kind of like a, it's a, it's really is physically impossible to use it like that. However, I'm, I'm sure you understand how this works. It's just, it's a great little time. You know, you get a piece of salami, you put it in your salami maker and then you, don't eat it because it's probably not safe. The FDA has not approved this item at the moment, so we'll have to come back to you at some point. That's okay, though. Let's go ahead and get this repellent back on ourselves so we can smell like a fresh winter's breeze. Thankfully, the sample ladies in many perfume stores happen to... I need the map, actually. This is... Whoops. I actually need the map. This is going to be a while before I'm able to smell my own winter's breeze. How? Oh, oh, okay, I see how this is going. I was supposed to go down a little bit more. I did not do that properly. I was kind of mistaken by, um... Sausage, I don't know. I thought it was a sausage maker, but it's actually a salami maker. Get down, yes! Aha, you got down! Just like I said. Like I... Oh my gosh, no. Where am I going? Don't worry, one day we'll get... One day we'll get there. It might be a Tuesday. What's today? Today is Wednesday? Oh gosh, we're gonna have to wait six days. I don't have many max repels left. The winter breeze smell- No! No, I was doing well. At least the music's cool. I was doing so well of avoiding them. I swear, didn't I bump into this guy before? Well, I would've remembered the name Jaylon. Actually, I don't remember any of the names that I ran into, so I can't really say I would remember it for sure. But I'm sure that Sure is a word I can't use in the sense because I can't be really sure about anything that pertains to people's names. That's okay. I'll write them down in a hat, we'll pick them out, and you'll have to eat them later. Well, because they'll be written on bubblegum, and I'll use a kind of edible ink so you can lick it off later. I just, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but uh, it does! That's the best part! The part that it works. And that's an important section of, um, Reading comprehension and the ability to choose, choose one's own shoes. What is that? Oh, that's cool. So it's like, it just tells you who's ready to battle again. If you want to battle someone for the second time, you know, I'm personally not. Oh boy, we're going to get to go to Pacific Lodge Town at some point. There's a bunch of, wow, there's some dark mist here. That's my fragrance if you... We're wondering. That's what I call my fragrance, or what I'm selling it as, of course. A dark mist. What might it smell like? I'm absolutely unsure of that. It kind of smells like black licorice. Uh, no! Why is he so much faster than me? I was just napping on the beach when before I knew it, I had been slept, swept, slept, swept. He was swept away, but he's in his entire, like, triathlon sim swimsuit. His swimsuit, that's what we're going for. Darn it, I was so close to... Oh man, all these triathlons are just... Hey, we only needed a gold duck. That's all we needed, just a gold duck to stop Groudon before. He has Cloud9, what What else would we need? Alright, let's try and take these eye, these guys out. These <laughs> Let's take these eyes out real quickly. Um, who can we... I'm gonna send in Tuju. Gotta get Tuju in some battles. I just... I don't feel like switching out Swampert because I'm... Then I have to go into the Pokemon menu, I have to click it, go switch, and then in that time I could be using my time to do other things like eat this bagel that's on my desk here. There is no bagel on my desk, but I can pretend. I can believe. There's also a tub of cream cheese in my drawer right here. Listen. See, that was me closing the drawer because the... What's he... He wants to learn Belch? Let's see what Belch does. Anything cool? Whoa! The user lets out damaging belt of the belch at the target. The user must eat a hellberry. Oh, that sucks. That's really that's a cool move though. But I don't know. It's 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 a unique move. It is pretty cool though. Oh, everyone wants to learn some moves. Wow, he's 54. Man, my team's getting up there. I'm pretty happy. Oh, Tuju's gonna level up next time. Glug glug. No, don't drown. Get on top of my swampert. Oh gosh, I thought that was a person. Just a person? What if there were people who popped up from the water to battle you? That would be kind of humorous to an extent. I, I, I'm not sure exactly. Maybe? Who knows? 
Okay. Oh, this is probably the way I'm supposed to go. I think- Hey, I did it! Hey, it's Wallace! Hi. How was your- How was having your three dots? So, you've came- Come, Jeff. As you can see, I have undone the seal on the entrance to the Sky Pillar. Follow the path within and you will reach the pillar in time. However, to go beyond this point, there is one more trial you must overcome. This is my duty as one of the an ancient Sutopolians. A duty passed down to me by my former master. You must battle me here and now to prove to me that your power is great enough to face what lies ahead. Now tell me, are you prepared? Yeah, pretty much. Then let us begin, Champion Hoenn. You, who should exhibit the most graceful of art in battle with your Pokemon. I would have show- I would have you show me your true strength. Alright, I guess. I mean, we've already battled before, and you know how that turned out. In case you don't remember, I mean, we won, so... Oh gosh, you just start off straight with Waylord? You know, I need to get a Waylord at some point. I'm gonna have to do- Oh gosh, he has six Pokémon! It is time! This is gonna be intense! Um... We're gonna Mega Evolve here. Probably Earthquake? Sounds like a good idea. Please tell me he'll heal my Pokemon afterwards because I don't want to have to go all the way back. Well, I guess I could just fly on Megalodios to get back and just heal up whenever I want to. So we could do that. I mean, I guess. This has to do at least half. There's no way it can. He's going to pound his fist down, shake the earth, and that has to do at least the... In Never mind. You know, I thought it would only do half, but apparently Swampert just wants to show off that he's even more of a beast than that. All right, Ludicolo's next. Um, Salantari will do good against that. Gustav can also do good against that. He can do good against that. Let's do Gustav. Gustav is lower level, unfortunately, so... I don't think Ludicolo will have anything that's good against Gustav. And he's really tanky, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Let's go ahead and sludge bomb this guy. We haven't used too much of it. Oh my gosh. Fake Out is really obnoxious. I still don't know which one wins. Sucker Punch or Fake Out? Eh, we'll, we'll find out some- Aw, oh, man, <laughs> he looks so funny. Please don't burn me, thank you. That's very nice. I don't want those burns to happen. Oh, good! Okay, at least half, that's not bad. We can- Okay, he might have full restores. I have to just keep- I just have to say that to keep that in mind. I completely forgot. But he has six Pokemon- I don't know, it's just- I never- You rarely see people with six Pokemon, it's kinda cool. I mean, except for the guys with Magikarps and the Pokemon breeders, that- That sort of thing is not fun. Alright, we have Wish Cash now, let's go ahead and send him Bounce for that one. Hey, hey. I don't know what pun or anything I was trying to incorporate here, but Bounce is doing a pretty good job. Pretty darn tootin' good job. Yes siree, Bob. I don't know who names Bob. I should've named him Baubst. So I could say yes siree Bob and actually be referring to someone by yes siree Baus. That kind of kind of works. We can work with that, I think. All right, we have Milotic now. Um, I think I can leave in Baus. We should be okay with that. Let's go ahead and just keep needle arming. I'm good with the needle arms. Look, his arm is. Oh my gosh, why? He has never missed a Blizzard or a Hydro Pump or anything to be exact. Oh gosh. Um. What do we send in then? I guess I send in Hanuacha. That's probably the best thing to do. I don't really think there's anyone else I could send in. I mean, he has to miss at this point. You are kidding, and then he's gonna freeze me too. Hey, he didn't. Cool. I just had to say it, you know, just to just to jinx it. But he doesn't have the he doesn't have a jinx, so I don't think it would really work. What if I just what if I jinxed it so hard that a jinx popped up in his party? Imagine how that would work. Oh man, level 60! That's great. I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty excited to be moving on up to the Sky Pillar. Ooh, Tentacruel. Ooh, it looks like he's out of Pokemon. I think he still has one more guy, though. Yeah, he still has another guy after Tentacruel, so I don't know why he'd send him in. Must be even weaker to Swampert then. Please tell me he's gonna heal me. I really want this to be the case. Man, look! Swampert's so good! Love this guy, Gyarados. Why would you send him in? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, Tuju! It is time to show your might and power. Magic and might. There's oh gosh, he has Earthquake, doesn't he? Please don't have Earthquake. I really just don't want that to be the case. Oh no. Oh, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna use Volt Switch anyways. Let's go ahead and Volt Switch! You're not faster, darn it. Don't get taken out. Gyarados is really powerful, though. Careful, careful. Oh, no! No! 
Tisk tisk. Whatever, we'll send in Hanawacha. That'll be fine. Yeah, I would think he'd just have dive. You know, he needs a Pokemon that has dive to get into Sotopla. How do any of them live there? That sounds like a terrible, terrible place to live. You have to go underwater. You have to buy scuba gear just to... I guess it must be like a rich people's city. That's the only thing I can come to the conclusion of. Well, this is fine because he Gyarados does have Intimidate, so... Eh, never mind. Even easier than had it than I had anticipated. And there we have it, Sullen Tree. Ooh, what, ooh, Quiver Dance. Um, that actually is pretty good, but I just don't feel like it. I, have to, I don't want to set up. Hey, to defeat me, a descendant of the ancient Sutopolis people, and even I was holding nothing back. What, you mean you were holding something back during our gym battle? I don't know. As I have come to expect from you, Jeff, you're an excellent Pokemon trainer. The Pokemon that you sent out in battle, at times, dancing as lightly as an elusive spring breeze. I like winter breeze better. Yet striking with a sudden sure surety of lightning from the blue. Watching you command the battle with such ease and grace, even I might succumb to your charm. Now go forth, find the truth that you seek. As one of the ancient Pokemon of Sutopolis, I cannot intrude upon this holy place. I will return to Sutopolis for now and try to lay plans in case the worst should come to pass despite all our efforts. Wow, you don't believe in me, jeez. I'm sorry that we, also, we always seem to be leaving the fate of all the world in your hands. Yet there it lies once again. Good luck to you, young champion. Heal my Pokemon! Fine. We're going in. That's it. No, just... No healing, you know what? That's it. Oh, yes, the Sky Pillar is the one with all- with that you need the Mach Bite to go across, because it's like breaking, it's pretty cool. Oh man, I just- for a second I just forgot about how cool it looks to be, um, updated. So you came for me, thanks for that. Geez, she claps. That's really good, Jeff, I really feel it right here. Hmm, since you've been a good boy, I think I'll give you something I've been keeping. Look. The painting that covers the walls of this tower. See? These are the history of humanity, of Pokemon, and of nature itself. They're the tales that have been passed down by my ancestors, the Draconids, for thousands of years. And now, I will pass that history and lore on to you. Thousands of years ago, in the Primal Age long lost, the world was overflowing with natural energy. Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre fought over that energy in endless, furious clashes. In the face of Primal Groudon and Kyogre's great power, people could do nothing. The only choice was to watch as disaster upon disaster swept over them. It was such a, it was such a time that a, gr a great many meteoroids. Am I say, I can't. I swear I'm saying that wrong. It just sounds weird to- I'm sorry. Poured from the darkness of space from a place higher even than the heavens. And the meteoroids fell in their multitude upon a waterfall that had long been home to a tribe of dragon Pokemon users. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the first chapter of my tale. I'll tell you the next part of this story on the next floor. Look forward to it. Is that it? We just keep- we gotta keep climbing up and seeing you there? Oh man. This is so cool how they updated everything. Um, shoot. Do, do these break? I'm just, oh gosh, there you are. I was supposed to go up. Oh, here you are. Or I wanted to check what was up, that is. Oh, there's a, look, you can see a, a, a TM over there. Let me continue. It's finally time for chapter two. Here we go. At last, right? <laughs> I know you're thrilled. The meteor shone with a rainbow brilliance as if some great life was held within. That was when, as if drawn by the brilliance of Pokemon that shone in a blazing emerald hue descended from the heavens. That Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza. Rayquaza's power overwhelmed that of two primal Pokemon and peace returned to the world. The people of Hoenn revered Rayquaza as a true savior. A thousand years after this time, the meteoroids once fell again. A huge meteor, far greater than any before, struck the planet, boring deep into the ocean and leaving behind it a crater larger than any other. The land born of this event later became... later become known... The land born of this event later become... Ha! Okay, that one, that one was actually wrong and that was not my fault. The land of born of this event later became known as Sutopolis. And that's it, chapter two is over.
But we've only just left the starting line. There's a long way yet. Don't fall behind now. Jeez, she's so cr I have to do my creepiest girl voice. But I, I just, I don't know if I can do that to people. The creepiest possible girl voice that I could ever do. And I, I don't think I can do that to people. I just gotta keep, I gotta keep trucking along. Gotta keep pushing forward. I gotta find that HM or TM or whatever it was that we're looking for. Now, our tale reaches the best part. Sutopolis was born from a gray meteor strike. Oh, that's kind of cool. I See, that makes sense. The Great Meteoroid was the first of many disasters to befall humanity. When it punched into the planet, the land cracked beneath it and great welling of nature poured from beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for that energy, Primal Kyogre and Primal Grata once again woke. The people had a wise, a, had a wish, a memory from a thousand years before. They wished that the legendary Pokemon clad in emerald light would appear again. The huge meteorite that lay at the heart of Sutopolis gave off a boundless brilliance. In its brilliance, it resembled a vast and powerful keystone. And once again, Rayquaza descended from whence it came in the heavens. The people fell to their knees before Rayquaza and made a wish for salvation. As they did, a great change came over the legendary Pokemon. It was enveloped in a blinding light as, they li as the light receded, they beheld a Rayquaza beyond all knowledge. A sublime figure, incandescent with overwhelming life force. It was humanity's wish that brought about Rayquaza's transformation in the face of the Rainbow Stone. Yes, a wish, an intangible thing, invisible to the eye. Yet this wish bound people and Pokemon together, enabling the legendary Pokemon to change its appearance. Doesn't it remind you of something? That's right, it sounds like Mega Evolution, doesn't it? This is really creepy, especially with the music. But, you know, in addition to that, she's just really creepy in general. So, we're kind of in our whole little, I don't know, a whole new world, that sort of thing. Wow, this is a triangle. Where is that TM or HM? No, I saw it over here. Darn it, I missed. Oh, hey, how's it going? And how did the story end? After being transformed by the wish of the people, did Rayquaza save them from disaster? I don't know. Rayquaza once again confronted Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. The golden filaments that sprang from its body covered the sky. An emerald brilliance illuminated the area. A terrible wind rose. The wind and emerald light visibly sapped the power from Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Drained of their primal powers, the two vanished into the depths of land and sea. Rayquaza watched them go, regaining its usual appearance. Then it soared back up into the heavens where it dwelled. A witness to this series of events, a tall visitor from a distant land said, It is the Delta, born of the great disturbances in this world. By the bonds born of mankind's wish and the power of the stones, it will calm the troubles that plague the world. That was when the Draconids constructed their great tower to hold the rainbow stone that, held gra that had granted Rayquaza its power, and to try to get a little bit closer to Rayquaza in the heavens above. To record the history of their trials and great feats of mighty Rayquaza for all to know, they left behind the murals you see here. Is that the end? A giant tower and paintings of the past. You know, I feel like I've seen something like that recently. <laughs> but now, I suppose it's time for the last chapter in our tale. Oh, just one more. You know, these ladders don't seem very safe. They just kind of seem... Well, I guess they're kind of shoved into the... Into the earth. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, gosh. What? What kind of... Let me just see what kind of Pokemon are in here. I got Mobile. And then Claydol. Oh, wow! It even shows you, like, the... It shows you the old one. I didn't even notice that. The olden-looking <laughs> Hoenn Emerald, that thing. All right, let's keep moving. I mean, it's kind of scary, but got to keep on trucking. That is a long letter. At least we reached the final chapter. A thousands of ye... A thousand years of peace followed after that disastrous time, but the Draconid people, learning from their long histories, cynical nature foretold that the, meteori the meteoroids would fall on this land again. The meteoroid... I just feel like I'm... The Metroid to come, they prophesized, would be far greater than those that had come before it. The Metroid would be great enough to break the world forever. Samus is a powerful being. In order to prevent this great calamity, those who held the knowledge of the past arrived at a plan. 
Their plan was to invoke Rayquaza, the great savior, and summon it to this land before the meteoroid could strike. And that's it. That's the end of our of the Draconid's tale. I spent a long time thinking about how I could protect the happiness of as many people as possible. What I must do, as one who holds both the knowledge and the power, one who bears the heavy wishes of those who could not live up to that faith. Well, I had to be creative, you know. Yeah, I, I guess so. If that that's what you want to do, maybe. Oh, there's. I gotta see what that item was. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of curious here. There it is. Let's just really quickly move down. Uh, what is it? I don't remember. Ah, I guess we are having a very explosive tale. But you know what? It's time to head to the top of the sky pillar and see. Just what's up there? What's been hanging up there? Or not even hanging, you know, what's been floating there? What's been around? Around town, possibly. This doesn't seem like a town, but it will forever be changed.